Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Two Minutes with Tech of Tomorrow. What's on the plate this week? Well, right off the bat, we know Microsoft's new Surface Pro is coming out next week. Now, there are a lot of good things about this that are cool. It's featuring the latest third generation i5, 1920 by 1080 graphics. It's going to have clear touch screen. It's going to be pretty awesome since you have all that power in a tablet. It's also running the new latest Windows 8 OS with its tile interface. You guys are all familiar with that. So basically, this is the very first Windows fully functional tablet that's going to be out in the market. I know they released their RT version before and eh, results on that were kind of eh. We're going to have to see what these are. Now, my big thing about this is the internal storage. Now, the 64 gigabyte version, 900 bucks, only has 23 gigabytes of available leftover storage for you to have. That's barely any movies or anything else. My thoughts on this is that for something this price, they should have concentrated on getting much more internal storage. Think about it. This thing's on the road with you all the time. Isn't what you have inside what's important? I know that you can slap something inside of it and you can take external storage with you, but it's such an awful lot of money. Plus, who wants to have to carry that around in your bag? That's where I think that Microsoft made a mistake. Anyways, more stories. Next up, you guys have all heard about Chinese trying to do hacking. Now, this is something that's very, very serious because they say now that this is organized and prolific. There's even books coming out about it. Now, I know a lot of people probably joke and shit and go, hey, what well, does not matter? But here's where the concern comes out. And if you're watching this over in China and you have to be watching my show, I don't think you get YouTube, but if you do, I reach out to you. It's probably your government doing this, but hey man, hacking in makes Americans paranoid. And so here's what's going to happen. You're going to create all kinds of problems for others. No matter what you do, I mean, I don't think, you know, you're going to get successful like a Bane type thing in Batman and take over our stock market, which is really the only reason, you know, I can think of it, unless you're trying to do something even more prolific, like do some kind of crazy ass book shit and take us over. Anyways, China, kick back, man. Stop hacking people. You guys can see through all the articles that have happened this week, Wall Street, all kinds of other people, Washington Post, China's been hacking. And they're not just normally hacking. They've got teams of hackers. Like we got pro football teams, those homies have hackers. What else is going on? Well, 3D cameras. They're becoming a big thing. Now we have one called the Lynx A3D. Now this thing's out in the market, trying to get funding to build themselves. They've put their feelers out all across the market. They've got a Kickstart program going, trying to get $50,000 to get this new thing going. Now, if it came out, just picture it. Everything you took a picture of would be 3D, which means in the future, pretty much everything would be 3D. Like you'd have a holographic image of your picture. It could be really cool results. If anybody's out there, you're into that type of crazy stuff, you want to invest, make sure you check out the link in the description below because we'll have it to that. So if you guys are into it, you want a 3D camera, check out the new links. So next up on the news, speaking of hackers, Twitter. You poor tweeters out there, and I guess that includes me because I do it too. Oh well. Anyways, 250,000 accounts have supposedly been hacked. That's right. So 250,000 tweeters out there, you have been invaded. Your privacy has been invaded. That's right. Now, so far the company hasn't completely validated this, but they're saying, hey, it's very possible that, well, you know, um, it may have happened. So that's pretty much it, folks. That's two minutes with Tech for Tomorrow. I know you're going to complain. You're going to say, it's longer than two minutes. I tried to keep it to two minutes. Anyways, see you guys back here on the channel. All of these things that I'm talking about will be over on our website, www.techoftomorrow.com, where I'll have written you nice articles. So you can check this out if you want to read more in depth about this. I'll have pictures and all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys like this type of video. If you do, show me the love and hit that like button. Always appreciate it. And if you're not sub, make sure you do so because we have all kinds of great stuff always going on on Tech of Tomorrow. See you later.